far, we have made it this far. I'm Annette Wimple, and we're here for day four of nonfiction for kids. And today, we are talking about writing for the educational market. That's, you know, we've, we've talked about mentor text, we've talked about just the nuances and fun of nonfiction for kids, but today we're gonna to be talking about how to get some nonfiction, and actually fiction too, writing assignments. So, I haven't showed you this yet. Here I am, and I am in both pictures on the screen. Do you think I've changed a little or a lot since I was a girl? Yeah, I've changed a lot. Not just in how I look, though. There's something really important for you to know about me. When I was a girl, I did not like reading. Oh. I was what my teachers called a late reader. And so my classmates were reading, and you know what? I was frustrated. I was not reading, and it took a lot of extra effort on my part to learn to read because my aunt helped me not to, and I had extra help at school, but my aunt also let me come to her home and I had some extra help from my aunt, and eventually I did learn to read. <sighs> Good thing, because now I love it. And even as a girl, I loved reading, but not at first. It wasn't until fourth or fifth grade that I found the joy of reading. And before I found the joy of reading, I found the joy of being read too. Maybe some of you have, that, have had that experience as well. And that's a picture of my family. That's my husband, Derek, in the back. That's my son, Evan. He's 14. Mm -hmm. Megan's in the middle, and she's 16, and Esther is 11. So that's us. Just a little bit about us. We look like we're a fun group. We're yeah. not. We're pretty boring. We're pretty <laughs> much just our regular family. And here you can see the books that I have that are out so far, plus one that's coming next year. And across the top, those smaller titles up there, those smaller covers that you see, those are the kinds of books that we're going to be talking about today. Those books that we can write, and writing projects that we can write, when an editor says, do you want to write a book about insects for fourth through sixth graders? And the answer is, yes, please. So, and here, these are just the, the work for hire projects that I've done so far. We have Africa, insects as producers, soil, flowers, North America. We have some Sunday school projects there. The story of the Wright brothers. I also did a phonics. I've done lots of phonics stories as well, where we focus on a certain sound that we say, and certain letters make that sound when we see them. When we read those sound, when we read the letters, they make a sound. So, and then there was also another story about Christmas that I did. So those were projects that came to me instead of me saying, "Ooh, I have this idea for a book that I hope that you'll publish." And I just love this kind of writing. So I'm calling it work for hire. And if you see it in writing, sometimes people don't even write out the words work for hire. Sometimes they just say W F. H, work for hire. It can also mean work for home. That seems like a pretty new acronym for that. But work for hire is when a publisher hires an author or even an illustrator to write or illustrate a project on a certain subject for a predetermined audience. They know what the story is going to be about. They know exactly who the story is going to be written for. And when we're talking about the educational market, sometimes that means a certain group of grades, like second through fourth grade. Sometimes it's more specific than that. Just kindergarten, just eighth grade. And work for hire can mean trade or educational publishers, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But work for hire usually means, you know how there are always exceptions well, there are definitely exceptions to these, but work for hire writing usually means that first time authors are welcome. And even better, in my opinion, you don't need a platform. So you don't have to have a newsletter list. You don't have to have a large social media following. And 
you won't have to market 